There is an armor set so powerful in the game that you're able to do over 1 million damage a hit. That's right, 1 million. This is pretty much the most expensive set in the game currently, and only a few people on this server have it. Well, thanks to you guys, I bought it. Well, it, it's ridiculous. Alright, let's get into it. What's up all you Skyblock people out there, and welcome back once again to Hypixel Skyblock, where today we are going to be taking a look at the most powerful armor set in all of Skyblock. I am proud to present this set, it is extremely expensive, costing well over 100 to 150 million coins. This armor set is so powerful and so expensive that very few people on Hypixel actually own this armor set, and I'm proud to say, well, not exactly proud, but uh... Thanks to you guys, I spent all of my coins and all of your coins in order to purchase this set, so a uh, massive thank you to anyone who uh, helped me out with getting this set. I am proud to present the renowned, recombobulated, elegant tuxedo set with the renowned and recombobulated crown of greed. This setup allows you to do the most damage possible in the game currently as of recording this. And of course, we will be using the most powerful sword to go along with it, uh, the fabled, recombobulated, livid dagger. Fuming potato books have been added, and I've done everything except given this sharpness 6 because, well, I don't think that 200 damage matters. If, if you care about it, again, this is about the armor, not the actual sword, so that, that, that doesn't matter. Anyways, uh, we're gonna be showing off this armor, showing off how stupidly overpowered this armor set is in every way possible. The first thing I want to do is, of course, go over what this set does. So the Tuxedo set just gives a ton of crit damage, and the set bonus, as it says, is max set uh, max health is set to 250, and you deal 150% damage. And of course, Renown makes all of my stats increased by 1%, which is fantastic. And the Crown of Greed is a very unique item dropped from the rare creatures in the Mythological Creature event if you have a Legendary Griffin. This allows weapons to have a 25% higher base damage, but the cost of your weapon's base damage and coins is reduced from your purse. Which basically just means I do a ridiculous amount of damage, but lose like 200 coins every time I swing. And if you get a good hit from the back, you should be able to do about 1 million damage a hit. Of course, my foraging level is laughable only at 24, and my combat isn't quite maxed. Uh, if I put down the Mana Flux Orb, and use the Weird Tuba, and then get a Backstab, we can get about 1 million damage a hit. There we go, that one was well over a million. And, uh, I just want to get one without the, uh, Romero's buff here, just to show you it's possible. There we go, that one was over 1 million damage, so, uh, there we go. And, what I want to do is go through every single Slayer, and see if we can actually take out every single Slayer while using this armor set. That's right, and remember, our maximum health is set to 250. This means we will die in one hit. The pet I'm using is my nearly level 100 legendary ender dragon. I would make this level 100, but uh, you see, I have to speed run this video because it's supposed to be up in under four hours. I don't know if I'm even going to be able to get it up today, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try here. So um, we're just going to go through. We're going to take out some of these revs. We're doing like 600,000 damage to this thing, which is absolutely crazy. And I think I'm... I don't know, I- should I- I almost want to grab a phoenix pet for this, because I'm a little bit scared to actually do this. See, that guy could have one-shot me right there. I don't know if he's going to take us out in one hit or two hits. I want to see our EHP real quick. Okay, it's like 1,290. I- I think he will one-shot us. I- I'm not positive, but, uh, we'll see. So wait, here we go. We're just gonna spam- stay away, bro, stay away, bro. Oh man, he does damage. He does damage. He does a lot of damage. Oh, we took him out. Look at that. So that guy wasn't too hard, but I think it's going to get significantly more uh, difficult once we move on to something like the spiders and especially Sven Packmaster. So uh, let's go Let's go try against a um, spider boss here. I think it'll be faster if I just run over at this point over to uh, Mr. Maddox. And at the end of this video, we will be doing a dragon fight. So make sure to stick around to the end of this video to see the dragon fight because, of course, I mean, that's going to be the best part. Also, to go along with this dragon fight, I have a pretty much 100% maxed out runins. The only thing it doesn't have is the ultimate enchant, because I don't know what ultimate chant I should put on it. I've heard rend is good. I've also heard it doesn't work on dragons. I've heard swarm is good, but uh, it doesn't seem very useful since you won't have mobs near you all the time, because uh, most of the mobs don't spawn when the dragon is there. So uh, I wouldn't really think it's the best idea. Hold on, I have to be a little bit careful with these guys. Uh... Don't, don't kill me, bro. Don't kill me. Oh, okay, that was close. I was a little bit scared of those guys, but, uh, no problem there. Oh, here we go. Here's the boss. Here's the boss. All right. Don't, don't get me, bro. Don't get me, bro. Oh, he does damage. Oh, oh, we actually lived. 
<laughs> Check that out. Are we actually going to be able to farm Slayers in Tuxedo Armor? This would definitely be the most uh, ridiculous thing ever if we're able to take out a Sven Packmaster in this armor. It might actually make it viable. Maybe not with this pet, but maybe with a Phoenix pet. You could probably get away with it. The only reason I'm saying Phoenix pet is because we want to keep the Grand Agreed, so the uh, Bonzo Mask won't do us very good in this case. So the only other Slayer left to actually try and take out a Sven Packmaster, and of course this will be the hardest one because of all of the pups, we might need to be a little bit careful, might even need to back off a little bit, I'm not sure. There's a chance that we're just going to be able to crush it in 4 seconds pretty much instantly. I'm just a little bit scared of Sven's uh, true damage attacks here one-shotting us. But I think since we have the absorption, uh, we won't actually, you know, have to worry about it too much. Since people in superior dragon armor obviously are usually fine from the true defense things. And I mean, our chestplate does have 5 true defense, which helps. Because I think with our, our dragon, we combine that to what, like 6 true defense? Oh, 29? Okay. I don't even know. Oh, because we have a true defense potion. Oh, that probably helps a lot with these layers. Uh, definitely use god potions if you're looking to do this. Why am I not using the bow? And why did that not one-shot the wolf? Okay. This part's a little bit boring, so I'll uh, cut to the boss unless something interesting happened. Oh, well, we died to a stupid mini-boss. That's not making this look any better than it was before. Uh, yeah, I don't know if we're gonna be able to take this guy out with Tux. Sven's just a little bit too good for us, I think. Uh, let's go back up here. Let's try and slay the, uh, where'd he go? You just disappeared like that? Bro, I booked it back here so fast. Why do you just gotta disappear like that, man? All right, well, nonetheless, we're almost ready to, uh, spawn our boss here. So, uh, in a few more, uh, slays, we should be there. Sl slays? Uh, I don't know. Uh, oh, is, is our crown of greed activating on- Oh, it is. Oh, jeez. Wait, are, are we gaining coins or losing coins? 984, we're losing coins. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. You know, that's fine. So, it looks like one more once we slay this guy. Alright, here we go. Come on, Sven. Give me your worst. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> I mean, what really did we expect from that? He was gonna take us out in one hit anyways. So, Sven Packmaster with the Tux is a no-go, unless you might be able to get away with using a Phoenix pet. So, uh, the only thing left I have planned for this video is obviously shredding a dragon in seconds. So, let's go do that right now. Alright, it's dragon time. Of course, we're gonna place down our eyes with our uh, soup in here. Just waiting for our uh, party here. We're going to place them in our lucky spots. If you don't know my lucky spots, they're right here. Uh, this is because I've gotten a dragon pet on viewer eyes in those spots. So we just got to make sure that... uh. Okay, that was interesting. And looks like we're ready to go. So as soon as they place, we're going to switch to our tux, place our mana flux behind us, use our tuba, and then start going. So I don't know. I'm still kind of new to using tux, so uh, we'll see how good we do. My particles are on, of course. And old dragon, because that's how this game treats me. 730k on pre-fire. I'm not sure if that's good. Uh, Mr. Dragon's being a little bit, little bit nice. Oh, come on. All right, let's get this. Let's get this. All right, so we want a tux drop from behind him to get the most damage possible. All right, so I think we're doing decent there. We did, what, 7 mil? That's pretty good, actually. All right, and then we want to switch over here and start firing our runins again. So uh, as long as Mr. Dragon, you know, Mr. Dragon's a nice dragon, all right? I, I like Mr. Dragon. This dude, I think that dude's sitting up there with like a frozen scythe or something. That's an interesting way to do this. Uh, hopefully Dragon doesn't stop over there. We want Dragon to stop on the ground. That's like the best place for us. He would just get shredded instantly. But we already got a good melee. I predict he's going to stop. Uh, he didn't. That was a bummer. That's okay, though. Uh, we have time to uh, run back to our spot. Uh, where is he? Oh, don't tell me he's fireballing. Okay, we're good. We're good. Good dragon. Oh man, we're missing all of our shots. We gotta be more, uh, predicting with our shots. Alright, he's gonna be over there. Alright, let's keep going, keep going. Dragon's halfway dead. We're, we're getting good damage on him. We just got- we just gotta get him to stop again. I don't know where he's gonna stop though. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. There we go. Alright, let's get him again. Hit him again. There we go. And, uh, warp right there. Boom. There we go. We're actually getting really good damage. Bro, that's just toxic dragon. Mr. Old Dragon being a little bit of a toxic boy. That's okay, though. And, uh, 17 mil. And the Old Dragon Chestplate. Obviously, dragons are not good for, uh, <laughs> fighting. Don't fight them. But, uh, there we go. That's actually pretty cool. I might save that for the thumbnail or something. So, uh, there we go. Did, uh, let's see. Did they get anything good? Uh, oh, Nick got, uh, Old Dragon Legs. Old Helmet. Oh, that's, that's a bummer, man. That's a massive bummer. All right. Well, that's all I really have planned. So, uh, if you enjoyed today's video, then do drop a like down below. It was extremely expensive to make, but it's very fun. Also, I stream a lot, 
So, uh, if you want to see that, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications on if you want to catch my streams. We'll probably be fighting a lot of dragons in the upcoming streams because this is just so fun to use. So, uh, if you want to see that, definitely do that. But thanks again so much for watching and have a fantastic rest of your day. Alright, take care.